Uh, let me get, oh, let me put my hat on. Wait a second. Ooh, 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 ooh. Why am I putting the hat on? Because this is an, an Africa report. I'm going to put my glasses on here just a second. Like that. Well, you take the Kente close for it. This just makes it official African, 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 right? Uh, oh, uh, so amazing. I can't believe it. First of all, I'm very happy. I'm extremely happy. Let me tell you why I'm happy. I just talked to my wife about it, 15 minutes ago, whatever have you. Because, you know, well, as you may or may not know, <laughs> She's at her home in Alice, you know, or Limpete, right? I'm stuck here in this, you know, South Africa. That's the Eastern Cape of South Africa. I'm stuck here in the United States of North America. Right now I'm in Virginia. I have to go to I'll go to New York, then I go to St. Louis. I'm stuck here. And so I'm I don't, you know, forget everything else. I, I, so I worry about what's happening with my wife, da 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 da. But oh, she said it's a village situation towards the town in a village situation. So it's fine. We know everybody, and uh, we have this thing. We all have a relationship with these, uh, with these uh, uh, young men. You know what I mean? Uh, and so they, they, and the neighbors, of course, they take care of my wife. Everything's fine with them, so that's that's good. And, um, and everybody knows where I am. I just finished talking to some folks. Everybody knows it's good. But here's, okay. Now they had locked down South Africa completely with all liquor stores and everything closed. Then they opened it back up. Everything was open. So nationally, the people went crazy. <laughs> they went crazy. Oh no, liquor is open. Back to the thing. And then the, the government thought they did some other. Okay, look, this is ridiculous. They realized most of this liquor stuff, whether they're fighting, whatever it is, whatever it is, happens on the weekend. So now what they're doing is they basically uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can purchase alcohol. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, none, nada. And this is good because it, those people who are basically just, just uh, we call it when I was doing this work, when I was doing this workshop up in the Cree, up back then, way up there in northern, you know, um, Canada, you know, they, but on the reservations, you know, they did the Cree up there, they drink, you know, back up where the geese fly home at, you know, and they, whatever, the geese fly home, you know, we eat caribou and, and seal, like that kind of thing. Way up there like that. Well, those guys up there, they 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 they, they call the drinking to the bottom of the bottle. So like they start drinking on Thursday and straight through to Monday morning. So 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 anyway, so that's the kind of mentality you have when you have these these drinking cultures like that. I shouldn't say drinking cultures, but you know what I'm saying. So anyway, so um so anyway, I'm feeling happy because everything is fine with me. I'm you know, working out, I'm doing well. Um everything's Back at the home front, meaning Africa, uh, at the home front here in, in Virginia, at the home front, I guess it's, it's uh, we're in New York, the home front. So I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. Um, but here's what I want to say I, I, I've traveled the world. I started traveling, I guess, officially in 1988 when I went to the uh, Newport, not Newport, the uh, Jazz Festival up there in uh, the Montreal uh, Jazz Festival in 1988. I just uh, I hadn't planned it. It's just uh, I usually travel on my birthday doesn't matter. And so that particular year was, I mean, you know, the festival was coming. I just jumped on a train. I, I was in the U.S. I just jumped on a train. I had no plans up there. Uh, the, uh, the the Montreal Jazz Festival. Doo -doo -doo. So my first official travel. And then the, that was in 88. The next year, I went to uh, Panama right before Nor Noriega got, got deposed. That's very interesting. You know, before he got deposed, you know what happened with the, you know, the, the money? United States had... Uh, the money was printed, right? But the United States, in other words, Panama had American currency or you know whatever currency, right? But they wouldn't issue no new currency. So the currency that they had, they were you know it would basically fall apart. Dollar, dirty dollars would just fall apart. It was amazing, right? The dollars would fall apart, and so I. I, I I guess with, with crypto and stuff like that, that's not possible anymore. If you whatever, but anyway, so that's what happened. Um, and then so I have to travel when I was traveling, especially in the nineties, whatever have you. People would always have the same uh, questions, whatever. Uh, how's it? You know, and they would talk about. They would ask about the Black Panther Party. They would talk basically Black Liberation. Maybe it's just the circles I was traveling in. I mean, they would talk about stuff. Then I noticed as the things going like basically the end of the nineties, almost the early two thousand, the, the conversation started to shift more towards stupid stuff i shouldn't say i'm sorry i shouldn't say that like hip-hop so it's about hip-hop and then lately they have you see so so i can almost tell how the world how the world is perceiving us by the questions that were asked on you know on the road right so anyway so 
So when this stuff happened, when when this, uh, this uprising started happening, I said, oh, oh, wow, this is interesting. Because remember, it started, really, the issue is um, uh, black people getting killed by the police, okay? That was nobody's concern. And all of a sudden, it became everybody's concern. But remember, it's black men, specifically, but black men and women being killed by, that's the core issue. And that's the issue that sparked everything else. Okay, so even though it, it may things might get lost in source, maybe per, somebody's protesting out there because they're going to lose their home, which you're going to lose that pretty soon. Maybe somebody's protesting because they clearly see that, I mean, you know, their racist ways are not going to hold sway anymore, or whatever they think, right? But you could, I can almost chart it to see what the, those things are going to, the world is doing those things, right? The, the world is, ha is happening. The world is now embracing our issues, if you will. But now issues no longer always it becomes worldwide issues. I know it gets very complicated, but anyway. So I, I realized that, but I want to show you something. So, oh, wait, my cup of water. Oh, this is not my, oh, this is not my school. I'm going to show you something here. I found this. Oh, look at this picture of my sister. Oh, rather, not my sister. It's, yes, my sister. It's a picture of my niece. It's back when I had my long locks. Can you see this? See this. That's at JB's house. Well, when he was in uh, Atlantic City, see it. Look at that. That's my niece down there with her. I just have braids, and that's me with my locks. Look at that. Like right that. And now be uh, sorry. So that have, what I'm showing you. That I don't know why I'm showing you that. I'm showing you that because I just saw, I just saw it there. I didn't realize that. I used to travel with this all the time. But here, I was taking a cup of water. This is a, a, an album, the CD they they they, oh, they put out. I keep on dropping stuff. What's the matter with me? I said, oh, here's another picture of, of me and my me and my niece. Back with my famous hat. See that? That's me and my niece. My long locks. See how long my locks were? Anyway, uh, but this is a CD that came out, and uh, with all the couple of other people from from Brazil and whatever. See now, this guy here. This is my teacher. This guy here, boy, guy. That's Jao Grande. He has distinction. He actually has a, a honorary. Well, he had a PhD in Capoeira. Only person on the planet given to him by uh, what university was that? Some university in New Jersey. I forgot which one. Uh, this cat here, Cabrini. This guy was bad. All these cats. This, this, these are the three amazing cats like that, like that. This is good. It's good. These are the songs, but it's a good. It's a good thing. Anyway. Um, I bring all that up. Um, just, I guess because I was in Brazil, we was doing a workshop. You know, when we was doing couple when I was doing couple. Uh, couple where you can uh, right before I left. No, somewhere in there, Jao Grande, he said I could teach you the old man's game, but I wouldn't. I can't. I couldn't stay. But it could affect you. Couple where it affects your knees, you know, and your back. So you gotta be, you gotta be. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry. Oh, I want to show one more thing. So I'll show you all that one more thing. Then we can finish this up, maybe. Then this picture came out. I had it blown up. I want to make this a, a bigger poster. I'm going to do this. This is my grand nephew. I posted several times. This is a picture of him. There he is. Look at it. Look at this. Hey, I call it power to the peoples. <laughs> but here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Oh, I mean, everybody, just get on whatever you need to do. He's getting ready. If he's getting ready, and he's like a, 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 a year and three months old or four months old, you need to get ready. Just a message from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. 